Hi, welcome back to another Serger Tip Clip. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I want to show you how you can use um, some landmarks on your presser foot to gauge your seam allowance on a serger. I know we do it a lot of times on our sewing machine, but not so much on the serger. And people are always concerned about getting accurate seam allowances. So I'm going to start with the chain stitch. In a previous tip clip, I talked about using the chain stitch while you're fitting. And it is a fantastic stitch to use simply because if something isn't right, if the seam allowance needs to be let out or taken in, when you pull it out, you never need to touch your seam ripper. You can just pull it out. And the be best part of the whole thing is it won't mar the fabric, even delicate fabric. So the chain stitch is, I think, sometimes kind of an overlooked stitch on the serger. So um, I want to show you um, how to get accurate seam allowances using landmarks on your foot. Okay. What we're looking at on this piece of fabric, it, it looks like a triple cover stitch, but in actuality, let me flip it over, it's three lines of chain stitches that were done individually and they're all next to each other and look like this for a reason. Now I'm working on a baby lock triumph and using the standard foot when I'm talking about this. I just want to make that clear and you can check your machines and check your feet for landmarks on it and you also might want to check your owner's manual it may have this information in it but let me tell you how you can gauge the seam allowance on these these three lines were done with um, chain stitching and in an individual needle a chain stitch is formed with a single needle and uh, the chain looper so this one was done I have to be sure that I'm getting this right because I'm doing it kind of backwards for the um, camera but this one was done with the left cover chain stitch needle this line of stitching was done with the center cover chain stitch needle and this one was done with the right one here is my standard foot and what I found was that when I line up this part of the foot which basically aligns with the front of the foot but this is right next to my needle so it's easy to follow this along that when I have just my right cover chain stitch needle in I can get a very accurate 3 8 inch seam when I have my centered needle in from here to the center needle stitching line is a half inch seam allowance. And from the edge right here to the left chain stitch needle, it's a 5 8 inch seam allowance. So it's kind of a cool way to know that you're exactly on the money. So, and all you have to do is line this up. And because you're not working in overlock with a knife, you don't have to worry about the front of the foot being lined up. You can bring your fabric right up to the needles because you have to always start with your fabric under the needle when you're cover and chain stitching anyway. So this little edge is a wonderful guide. I'm going to snap this on the machine and show you exactly how this works. We're at the machine. I have my left chain stitch needle in, and this is the edge of the, where I am aligning it with the edge of the foot. Having the left needle in, as I said before, will give me an accurate 5 8 inch seam allowance, and we'll measure that just to verify it. And I'm going to do my very best being a little off center here to keep the edge of the fabric where I want it to be. that out I'm trying I pin these together to keep the edges even and on the triumph I can chain off so um, check your manual to see if you can do the same thing all right so let's just double check that can you see exactly five eighths of an inch for the seam allowance. There's my left needle. I'm going to move it to the center position next. 
Now I have my center chain stitch needle in and this should give me an accurate half inch seam allowance and again we'll measure it and this is my landmark. There we have exactly half an inch. That's my center chain stitch needle. And I did wobble a little bit, but that's because I'm not directly in front of the machine. Now I'm going to switch it over to the right chain stitch needle for that 3 8 inch seam allowance. This is the last one. I'm in my right chain stitch needle position again lined up right here and I'll do my best to keep the stitching straight so that we can check out and see if we have a 3 8 inch seam allowance. All right, let's do the measurement test and see if this is three eighths. Let me just flip this around. Yes, we're exactly three eighths of an inch right here we go right here. So you can see that using those little landmarks on your presser foot and knowing which needle to put in according to what width seam allowance you have, it's very helpful. And again, these indicator ridges are great for lining it up, but um, because you're not using your knife and this edge of the foot, let me bring that needle up, you can see it's right across from the needle. It's super handy to use as an aligning method. Thanks for joining me today and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You'll receive a notice in your inbox saying that I've posted a new tip clip and you'd hate to miss out on any of them. So, and you can also find me on Instagram, g.p.design. Thanks for joining me. See you again soon.